Archbishop of Radio is back. Chapo Janina Po, Chapo Juan Josie, Chapo Juan Josie, Chapo Juan Josie, Bandone. DJ Spoo Live with DJ Spoo, weekdays from 3 to 6 p.m. Yes, she's definitely in studio and I'm quite excited finally we meet. I've been a big fan of her work for quite some time. Yes, she is with Prince KB. Her name is Holly Ray. Yes, you do is the name of this track. It's 17 minutes before 5 o'clock. Welcome to DJ Smooth Live. <laughs> Sashi's Coop Papa Friday, Fringa Linga Friday. If Rita hang on this. Welcome to DJ Smooth Live on Massive Metro, www.massivemetro.com. DJ Smooth Live on Voice of Tembisa, 87.6 FM frequency. Shout outs to Midran, shout outs to Al Fontaine, Olifant Fontaine, Clavy, Lee, um, Maibu, yeah. Um, Ivory Park, Tembisa Casting a Party. Everyone that's listening to us throughout the country and actually all over the world world on www.massivemetro.com in 2018 well let me just say if 2018 had a theme song it was undoubtedly holly ray's deeper ladies and gentlemen please welcome in studio holly ray how are you doing hey 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 thank you for the visit we appreciate oh, it thanks for having me it's really good to be here it's finally great to put the face uh well it's not like we haven't been seeing your pictures on social media yeah yeah but to finally meet the person behind yes. the music yeah it's lovely to meet you too yeah. i mean i've heard so much dj Spoo is a big name no, in the industry no, no, and no, now no, i get no, to no. meet dj Spoo. But, but i'm honored to meet you as well and oh, i've been following your music i'm quite impressed thank you thank you so much why it music a lot um, I think music chose me. I don't think I chose music. Um, from the time I could start singing, I was picking up instruments. Um, I wasn't really sporty at school, so music was my extramural activity that I took up. Yeah. Um, and any instrument I could get my hands on, I was trying to learn it. If my mom couldn't afford the the like lessons for me, I would get my friends whose parents could to teach me how to yeah. play the instrument. So I think that it was always just a part of who I was. And which part of South Africa did you grow up? I grew up in Durban. I'm a Durban, oh, Durban girl. girl. Yes, okay. but I went to boarding school in the Midlands. Yeah. In like like more River area. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm a Durban girl. So I think that's where my love of house music comes from. And I was sort of, was sort of about to ask you, like yeah. has Durban in a way influenced you choosing to do dance music? I think so. You know, like I, I went to my first Shisanyama when I was 14 years old. <laughs> Your first so, Shisanyama. Yeah. And yeah. I wasn't supposed to be there, but like I was with producers and you know, so I just kind of got in. So Definitely, I think my love of house music comes from being in the Durban scene, going to Shisanyamas. I mean, Mlazi is such a hub of music in South yeah. Africa, you yeah. know. So definitely, I think it has contributed to my love of house music. It's been it's been quite incredible to see a lot of brand new talent coming into the industry. One thing I know, it's difficult to get into the industry. How was your, or what was your first break? It is. I mean, I'd been in the music industry for 10 years before Deeper. I think that's okay. what a lot of people don't understand. I signed okay. my first record deal when I was 14 years old. And the youngest person internationally to ever sign a publishing deal with Sony. Wow. So it was, and I learned so much. And it was at that point I was like, okay, this can be a career. It's no longer just like a hobby. I can actually make some money and it can be a real thing. Weren't your parents concerned? No, my parents were so supportive. My parents are very, I was raised by a single mom and she's very, very much about doing what feels right for your soul she would never say you need to get a nine-to-five job because she knows i would have been unhappy yeah um so she really supported me she signed my contracts for me lovely <laughs> lovely so the mom so was involved she was she, she was, was a momager really, right yeah but not i don't think she was the stereotypical momager she let me really be let me experiment let me do what i need to do to discover myself as a person yeah it's not easy to sign to sony clearly you had something special that they recognize early i hope so what would you say were some of the lessons that you learned in that 10 years before deeper happened so much um you know the industry is very tough and it'll give you tough skin very quickly if you don't get tough skin you won't last very long yeah um but i think the one thing i always tell people like young people who say well how did you make it or like what is the secret and always tell them to just be kind like be a nice person and you will go so far there are so many 
awful people in the entertainment industry like yeah. just don't be one of them yeah, yeah. you know um, and I think that that's also the key to to having thick skin is being a nice person I always find like when you're nice to people it feeds your soul as well yeah. when you started out 10 years before Deepa it was an albums culture which is a culture that uh, you know my career was made out of yes but now you broke in through or around now in the singles culture yes album singles your take I think that the thing about the industry is I don't think one's better than the other. I think everything serves a purpose in the time that it's in. Um, I don't think that it's a bad thing that we're in a single era and I don't think that albums are a bad thing. I just think the music industry is changing. Like Everything is content driven now. People want mm. content right now. They want to get their hands on it. They don't want to wait for your album to come out to buy you. You know what I mean? Yeah. They want your music right now. And if they don't get it, they move on to somebody else. Exactly. So I think that the thing is about any industry, it's ever changing and you just have to roll with it so i think it's great that singles are going but i also think people are buying bodies of work yeah and that's why with the new project that i've just released i decided to do an ep not an album because i would rather release less content more often than more content less often mm. when we come back we're talking about her brand new ep she's just released her name is holly ray this one is called you this is nine minutes before five o'clock on dj smooth live find us on voice of tembisa 87.6 fm alternatively on www.massivemetro dot com or you can download the massive metro app good afternoon holly ray's in studio this one is called you is this on the ep yes so this Ooh. is on the even it's a previous single this one yes, right it's the previous single and it is on the ep guess what guys where's my paper bag where's my gift bag um, artists usually come here we give them gifts but i think you are the first artist you know She's the first. i was taught to never go to someone's house without a gift and i've come to dj spoo's house so dope guys. so dj spoo needs a gift okay i'm gonna rock this t-shirt i feel like that might be a bit small for you i think when you get a bigger one <laughs> i think i'm good i'm good and i'm gonna rock bucket hats as well <laughs> she came and gave us gifts guys like gifts other artists are just coming like missing their hands but it's fine we love them still um. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> what are you saying? Wow, what are these? They're biscuits. Biscuits as well. Yes. Mm, mm, and there's some drinks in there as well. And there's, uh, hey, 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 we don't want the drinks. No, 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 not drinks. those drinks. Some, some special, see. special juice. Oh, we've got some special. Some drinks special, here as well. special oh, juice. Oh, nice. Bull crusher. Some craft beer. Oh, some craft there's some beer. There's some craft well. gin in there. And then the all fish and leaves. Okay. As well. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. We won't talk about the other Yo, one. and this one is there's a, a craft gin. Salacia gin. Ah. Uh -huh. I can just be dashing today. <laughs> All right, let me just rock this T-shirt before we get into the main song that we promoted. I hope it fits. It's gonna uh, fit. It's gonna fit. It's gonna it's fit. Gonna okay, you'll make it let's, fit. You'll make it fit. Let's talk about the EP. <laughs> yes, I worked with Dr. Maruti. Who, oh I mean, wow, Tim Ruti, really yeah, talented. Yeah, he's amazing. Yeah. So he produced "Looking for You," which Dope. is the, the kind of uh, lead single off of the EP, and he produced the first track on the EP called "Fire." Um, he is amazing. I love to work with people who just like inspire and educate, and I just learned so much from him. And then I got to work with Colors of Sound, who are from Durban, to to like, like a duo, and Murphy Kubik, who's from Zim. And I brought him to Zim for like two weeks. Brought him from Zim to South Africa for two weeks. Yeah, and we just got into studio with colors of sound we had this amazing little creative hub we all worked and it was the most beautiful experience because as as a young female artist i often felt like bullied and undermined by producers it's really easy to get walked all over mm. so i got to work with a lot of young guys who we all just it was mutual respect we're all in the same level and that's when creativity is really inspired where in, everyone feels like they're valued in the creative space and that was really beautiful this one is your main single looking for love yes what and inspired look are you really looking for love or no i'm it's not just a I'm, love song? i am very happy <laughs> in the situation I'm in, <laughs> which is alone <laughs> in capital letters um but yeah this song is about looking for love but not finding it in the right places and then eventually finding it brand new music holly ray in studio Z 
Get a chance to speak to Holly Ray live on air. That's 010-446-2077. Brand new music. Hey, this one is called Looking for Love. Her name is Holly Ray. The name of the track is Looking for Love. Her name is Holly Ray. And the name of the track is Looking for Love. DJ Smoo live on Voice of Temisa, 87.6, 3 to 6 p.m. Monday to Friday, weekdays. And we're just talking off air right now about the different cultures that you've been able to learn. I like I like what you've just said. That, for instance, if you're a white South African in South African, somebody asks you about your culture, you define your culture, yes, right? Yes, yeah. Everyone defines their culture, I think. And and for me, when when I, I remember when I was in high school and someone said to me, so what is your culture? And the kids, the Zulu kids said, well, this is my culture, you know, and, and Indian kids said, this is my culture. And all the white kids said, then they were like, well, I don't really have a culture. And I was like, that's not true. Yeah. You know, you define your culture. Like, if you ask me what my culture is, I was saying to you, like, my culture is she's on the Amazon sign. <laughs> it's Christmas in December. It's like ice lollies by the pool when it's hot. It's going to the beach. It's going to Diwali. Diwali. It's going to my friends Umumelo or whatever. That's what my culture is. Mm. Um, so I think, yeah, if you don't have a culture, define one for yourself. Embracing being South African. Exactly. I like that. Any international dreams or hopes? Yeah, I mean, I was in the UK two months ago. I did a few shows across there, which was amazing. How was the response? It was crazy. There were like little kids running up to me. Me. Like young kids and doing like five, six with their little English accent, like, oh, I'm your biggest fan, Holly Ray. Yeah, and the I was world like, has oh made everything gosh. one, right? Yeah. yeah. So it was amazing. I've traveled Africa quite a lot. I'm going to be in Uganda again in December. Next weekend, I'm in Mozam. I'm in Lesotho. I've done a lot of Southern Africa. So, yeah, just, just being able to travel is really beautiful, especially um, the rest of Africa. And um, we're going to come back, take your calls before we wrap it up. It's a Friday afternoon, and we're appreciating Holly Ray visiting us in studio. 010-446-2077. Who's on the radio live? Hello? Hello, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing, my brother? I'm good, too. It's uh, DJ and DJ are all the way from Deep Kloof. Shabuja and Kloofas, boy. I'm not soft, <laughs> Nice one out here. I've got Holly Rain Studio. Speak to her. Hey, oh, hi, hey, how hey, hey, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Good. I'm on radio, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Mama made it. Cubs, I'm on radio. <laughs> <laughs> we know you're on radio. Speak to Holly Rain, bro. <laughs> Hello? I think he's excited. He's telling his friends to Yeah, he's in busy telling his him. friends he's on the radio. You would have to move on to another call. Who's that, boy? How good you prove Hanti Bajuang now? Okay, and, and then let's talk about the EP again. It is yes, out. It is out. How it many tracks? Today. It's eight tracks. It dropped today. The music video for Looking View dropped today as well. Is that up on social media it's as on, well? Yeah, on YouTube? It's on social media. It's been playing on all the, the channels all day today. It's Holly Ray Weekend on channel, which is so exciting. Oh, that's great. Lovely. Yeah, so I'm really excited about that. Um, yeah, so everything is out today. You can go catch it on whatever digital platform. It's already on Fakaza, but please don't go Fakaza. <laughs> Like, I worked, I worked really hard, guys. And the tracks are only nine rand each. I mean, come on. Yeah, yeah. I mean, come on, support. Um, yeah, I mean, at midnight last night, like, Fuck Haza, Hip Hop ZA, all of them, that was there. It was there <laughs> yeah. on Twitter. But you know, sometimes, and, and I'm not saying I don't promote, I don't condone anybody bootlegging our music. But sometimes when I drop music and the likes of Fuck Haza, um drop it, I don't mind. You no, know, you know, I saw a tweet the other day that someone's like, uh, someone dropped an EP and it's not even on Fakaza. It doesn't mean like anything <laughs> yeah, if it's, yeah, not, like, on if it's not on Fakaza. If it's not on Fakaza, it's like, hey, no. you haven't Because made you know it. why though, Holly. I think of the kids that love our music yeah, but they can't 100%, afford. Yeah, you know? 100%. And a lot of our audiences are out there and you know the country that we're in. Exactly. A lot of young people are unemployed. Exactly. Others are even younger to be employed. They're still in high school. Yeah. So that's why I, I really never mind, you know? No, me too. It's not such a big deal. Um, You know, I joke when I say don't Fakaza it, but you know, as long as you're enjoying the music... And not you listen to positive music as well, then I'm happy. Yeah. Holly Ray in studio. We're wrapping it up when we come back. This one is called Looking for Love. We're playing it for the third time. Shout out to all the other DJs from other stations. Don't try this at home. You'll get fired very early. If you don't believe me, ask Fresh, Robert Marao, and Smuda. <laughs> Oh, 
How you have a vocal I'm done. Ah yeah, you're not playing. You're calling these vocals. I hope so. We're talking about something interesting of air and we're talking about us being energy beings. Yes. Right? Your take on energy and just how the type of energy you put out is what you get back. And a lot of people sometimes turn to not understand yeah. metaphysics or how we operate as human beings. You know, it's so interesting about two years. I've always suffered with depression my entire life and not just situational depression. I suffer from like chronic depress- depression where I don't produce the hormones that make you happy, basically. And I was on medication for so long and I felt like such a vegetable. Like it suppresses all your emotions. I felt like I couldn't be happy or sad or anything. Mm. And I decided like two years ago, you know what, I'm going to come off of it. I'm not, not going to take antidepressants anymore. What I'm going to do is I'm going to surround myself with positive energy. If you come into my space with negative energy, I'm going to give you a hug. Mm. I'm going to give you the positive energy that brings you up with me. Mm. Um, and it changed my life. Um, the thing about energy is what I was saying just now is you, it, your energy introduces you before you do. Mm. If you give off bad energy, everyone around you will give you bad energy. Mm. <laughs> Done. You know, it's not like it's the energy, right? Exactly. And it's not like a weird, like sometimes people go, oh, that's like satanic or whatever. No, energy is not about that. Mm. Whether you see it as energy or you see it as like what you how you speak to someone or however you want to name it. It's just how what you put out into the world. Whether if you if you're a Christian or you believe in God, what you pray about, that's also what energy you put out, what you mm. believe in. It's all the same belief, whatever belief system you aspire to, it's the same thing of like putting something into the universe that will come back to you and I'm a strong strong believer in that I'm so glad that you understand that concept and a, a lot of us have had to learn that over the years by reading different books you yeah. know and one book that I can really recommend to a lot of people especially people who are, that are chasing success books like Outliers books like um, Think um, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill books like The Secret by Rhonda Byrne such books you know A New Earth by Eckhart Tolle follow me on my social media and, and Facebook or Twitter or Instagram and ask me those questions in case you didn't grab those books you'd like to write them down I'd like to recommend them for you they'll change your life I just love the subject she's just touched on before we let her go you are amazing thank you so much you thank you you are incredible thank you thank you thank you so are you <laughs> and congratulations thank you incredible congratulations with your work thank you once again let's promote the um, EP for the last time and your social media platforms so you can catch the EP on all digital platforms uh, Deezer Jukes, Apple Music, Google Play, whatever you use, it's there. It's also available in stores, so physical CDs, if that's what you're into. Nice. Um, and then you can catch me on social media. It's at Holly Rain Music on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. It's H O L L Y R E Y on music on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Holly Rain Music. Yes. And Holly with a double L. Right? Double L. Yeah, it's Holly, not Holly. Yeah, Holly. <laughs> and then Ray is R A Y. R E Y. Oh, R E. R E Y. Oh, R E Y. Yeah. R E Y. So Holly Ray music. Yes. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you so much for having me. You too. We'll be seeing you on TV, picking up awards. We'll continue hopefully, following on social hopefully. media. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Holly Ray, brand new music. This one is called Looking for Love. See, Dallas Fogge. You try it, you already know what's going to happen to you.